Hey, Jimmy. How are you? I'm um, well, Jenna. Thanks for <laughs> Thank inviting me to talk about in studio today. Oh, I'm so happy that you could join. Thank you so much. Um, can you do a quick introduction into who you are and what you do, please? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm Jimmy Leslie. I'm the resident artist and director of education for the company Colart. And most people wouldn't know the name Colart. That's sort of a name known in the trade. Uh, but what artists might know is they own the brands Windsor and & Newton and Liquitex, two of, the, two of the biggest brands in the industry and some other brands as well. But I mostly work it, uh, with them, um, develop content for the other artists who go out and deliver demonstrations on art materials products and product videos, kind of anything uh, creative related. I'm, I'm, I've got my hands in. Nice. Um, so can you explain where you uh, where you and the company were when you came to work with us and why did you feel it was a good fit? Yeah, I mean, we didn't have anybody in house to handle uh, any, you know, any video capabilities, any graphic design. There was just there was just nobody there to do that. And I, I think what was happening at the time as we were farming a lot of things out, but it would be with different people. And what you'd find is things wouldn't be cohesive after a while. Um, but more on a, I mean, more on a personal note for me, and this was just something I, I literally just talked to somebody about this morning. You know, as an artist, you want to be creative. You want to be a, a free thinker and all that. But at the end of the day, when you're working with a brand, you've still got to, to, to market and sell that brand properly. And when, when I would have meetings with your team, the important thing was everybody was organized. Everybody was on time. I didn't have to worry about that. And I'm, I'm kind of an anomaly maybe for artists. I'm, a, I'm an organization freak. Uh, I, like, I, I think I get it from my mom. I'm a compulsive note taker. So I'm like, I'm ready to go when a meeting sets. And I've been in, I mean, you probably have too. You know, sometimes you go into a meeting and somebody's like, oh, they're not on point today or they're not ready. And that's, I think what I, I always appreciated by your team. It was like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cover it. And we had fun talking about it too, but and, and and maybe a few jokes. But it was like, let's let's do this. Let's get it done. Let's see how we can uh, how we can move forward. Nice. And did you enjoy um, your experience working with our team? Oh yeah. I mean, I, there's a bunch of creative people, you know. But but again, you you had that kind of multifaceted situation where you're working with people who are excited about what they're doing, and and that's you know that's something I've been at my job 14 years, and. I suppose you could say people might stay at a job 14 years for, for reasons other than passion, but I am passionate about what I, what I do. And it's easy to, I think it's easy to tell anyway, when you're working with people and you're like, man, their, their heart's not in it. So it was like, I, I like big ideas too. And I feel like your team would always come with big ideas and, and, and it might be, and sometimes it might even be you who got, okay. We're going to throw something out to you. <laughs> it may not stick, but let's hear me out. I'm like, bring it on. Because I think big ideas, sometimes you, you, you may not be able to implement, but there's something there where you might say, we can't do that right now. Maybe it's budget, maybe it's bandwidth, but that part of it, can we scale that? Can we do something else? And, and we were always able to do that with you guys. Yeah, it was so much fun. Um, what was the biggest aha moment you had um, when working together? I, I think, and it's, it's kind of actually my, and I've talked to other people about this uh, who used to work with me and were involved in this, but it was the times we went to Art Basel. Um, there were, first of all, they were just fun. It's just a fun experience for anybody who doesn't know Art Basel. Uh, this was Art Basel in Miami. Um, a great big outdoor, I mean, would you call it a festival, I guess, and mural painting going on and just this creative culture during the first week of December. And we had, uh, if you remember, we had, we had the pop-up gallery space. We, yeah. we had a, what would you call that? A bicycle that was like an ice cream cart that we handed around supplies. And to go do that in another state, you know, going from New Jersey to Miami to do that, there was so much in terms of logistics that we had to handle on our end that you guys assisted with. And then there was the, the artist that we were going to connect with there. And I, I think that was the big thing for us is you guys always had an in with somebody you either knew personally, an artist, or you knew somebody who knew somebody. And we got connected with a lot of great people. And we went down there and it was just these, I, I, I literally showed this to a, a, a colleague, a, a newer colleague recently. Um, she's a photographer. I'm like, well, you got to check out this video we did. And that was the one, you know, driving around and handing out some, supplies and people just being so pumped that they were getting free stuff 
Um, so yeah, I think that was like an aha moment because it was like, you, you worry when you plan big things. I, I mean, I think unless you're totally oblivious, you're like, I hope you're gonna pull this off. I hope, how's this all gonna work? And then when you get there and you're like, oh, okay, they thought of this and this, is, this, this got sent ahead of time and this was planned and all the pieces come together. Next time you do it, you can kind of take a, a step back and, okay, I can breathe. This worked last time. This is going to work again. So that, that, that it's kind of peace of mind, I guess, would be the aha moment. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would love to be teleported back in time. Oh, so good. So <laughs> good. Yeah. We really were able to connect with a lot of artists and get product in their hands, which was the, which was our goal. So, um, was- and, and we still work with the artist, Mr. D, who we, who we met there, uh, you know, kind of happenstance as we were going around and then all of a sudden, you know, we struck up this great relationship. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's clearly thanks to M studio for sure. That's great. Um, so what kind of results did you see when implementing our strategy? The brand. Well, I, I, I think it started a journey for us that was really about being genuine and authentic because you can sell art supplies. That's, that's, that's great. Artists need those, those tools to do their job. But I think artists want to see more that, that you're actually connecting with the community and that you have your, you, know, you, you kind of get the pulse of the community and what their needs are. And I think you know, as an artist myself, I can, I can speak to this. You want to be validated. You want to be recognized for what you do. And, and, and probably most important, you want to be respected for what you do. And I think when we developed these working relationships with artists, they, they felt that because also they were coming into something with like, oh, these people are serious. They're, they're, they're on point. They know what they're doing. Like, we're going to shoot this video today. This is how it's set up. And they could just come in and do their thing and, and let, let M Studio and 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 Kohler, the in particular the Liquitex brand, just kind of embrace what they were doing and and really showcase them in the best light possible. Yeah, thank you. That really, that that means a lot. You saying that um, we always we always wanted to be authentic and true to the brand and understood you know how artists communicate and and perceive information. Um, well, you see through it, don't you? I mean, I, most yeah. people, do, you know, there's there's a difference between being really passionate and genuine about something, or being the sports drink ad. You know, I yeah. use and endorse, and then you go, you know, take a sip and go, oh, it's the most awful stuff in the world. <laughs> people people get a sense of that, I think, especially if you're going to have a more intimate relationship and you're going to spend a little time with them. Yeah. They're they're going to get it if you're not as passionate as they are. And I I don't know. I mean, as an artist, you. you you don't want to work with people like that that are that are not in it as much as you're invested in. And, you know, when you talk about artists, artists are, I mean, you know this very, very well. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. They're so invested because to be an artist, you really, it's, it's a cliche, but you have to love what you do. No one is really going to care more about what you do than you. Uh, so if you're if you're in a working relationship and other people show that passion, you, again, you, you feel good about what you're doing. Yeah. And for, for us, like developing like an ambassador program as we did for the brands and, and, and cultivating influencers, um, we just wanted to make sure it was like, you know, they were authentically passionate about the brand and used it. It was, uh, it was, it, it proved to be a really successful for the account. Well, that's a good, that's a good point though, that you, that you say that that's where the authenticity comes in. It's, it's like, rather than just handing somebody a product, say, okay, use this on film. I, we don't care what you do later on. There was a lot of going into that and saying, hey, because I, I remember you're, you're kind of jogging my memory of, hey, there's this artist and they're really interested. They've used your product before, but then we're like, okay, we're going to send them this other product that we have and, and some more samples because we want them to feel comfortable. If they don't, mm-hmm. we don't want them on film or yeah. you know, we don't want any, any sort of uh, uh, assets that, that claim that they like it if they really don't. Because it, mm-hmm. you know, and just for me working as a, you know, for a company, it's like, I would feel a little, I feel there's a creepy factor to that for me. I don't know if I should be saying that here, but there's just a, you know, when you, when you are, are faking it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just doesn't feel right. Mm-mm. No, not at all. Um, and then ha- how has this changed the way um, you look at marketing the brands that you work with moving forward? Well, your experience? I, I mean, I think, I think that journey that we started with you is something that's been embraced a lot more by the company uh, because Here's the thing, you, you go through with, with a, and we're not a, even though we're large art materials brands, we're not a massive, massive company, but still in a larger company, 
you go through changes in management in, in, you know, over the years. And not everyone sees the importance of things that were done by a previous, uh, if I want to call it a previous administration, that sounds very political, but you know what I mean, a pr previous management. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the things that I've been able to share uh, over the years of, of past things we've done with artists, the people who are in charge now said, yeah, that's what we really need to do. We need to have more residencies, which is actually something we did with you guys. So it's kind of a memory uh, a yeah. little memory lane thing. We, you know, we yeah. did some residencies at the uh, Space in Asbury Park right next to your office, the Collective Art Tank. And I got to say that that this maybe goes back to a, a, the aha moment. But you guys were right next door to that space. And there were so many times we were doing things there and you were like, ah, we're just going to go over there. We'll take care of it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it done. Some, some sort of prep work. And it was beyond the scope of what you guys were supposed to be doing for us. But the fact that you were there and you're like, I'm just going to let's just, we'll handle it. Don't worry about it. That was huge too, because our, I, although I, you know, I live near where your office is, our, our, our uh, offices for Kohler were up in Piscataway, you know, 45 minutes away. So when something came up or little emergency things, you guys handled that. And that was uh, to me a big deal because you didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> no, it was nice to uh, welcome the artists to that space and cultivate that program for you guys. Um, and, you know, the content that was developed and the relationships that were made for, for Liquitex and Windsor Newton, um, I, I continue to see yeah. in the artist's work. So it's nice. It's really yeah. nice. That, yeah, it was always, always good stuff because, I, you know, we, we have this, our, our CEO now sort of has this mantra of inspiring every artist in the world. It's this kind of idea that we, we have to go beyond just selling a product, that that's not necessarily a sustainable thing. What's sustainable is, is those relationships because then the, the, the product goes with that. that that's, that's what happens as a result of those re relationships. So that's kind of the thing that I still see now. And I'm glad that that's not lost. I'm glad that that's actually really being, uh, being embraced a whole lot. That's great. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome to hear, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it makes me happy as an artist, right? I mean, it's, that's, yeah. again, it's my whole point is that I'm an artist myself. So if I'm in a situation where I'm working you know, in an environment where artists aren't embraced and it's an art materials company, then what am I doing there? Mm -hmm. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be there if that's the case. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Oh, it's totally my pleasure. Absolutely. Jenna. Thank you. All right. Thank you.